hello friends welcome to another python video in this video we'll talk about the probability distribution function of rolling of a dice rolling of a dice is a very popular statistical event which is taught to every star student we know that getting a number on a dice has a probability of 1 by 6 because uh, getting a number is equally likely event 1 2 3 4 5 6 all numbers can occur equally likely but when we roll a dice numerous times it is not necessary that uh, we get each number with the same time of probability for example if we roll the dice six times it is not necessary that we get uh, each number once or if we roll a dice 60 times it is not necessary that we are going to get a number 10 times each so that is known as probability distribution function when the event occurs a number of times the uh, distribution of probability changes and it becomes uh, more uniform as if the number of uh, events are large enough then the probability distribution becomes uniform so that is what we are going to see in this video so how do we implement this code of probability distribution function in python uh, you'll get the notebook file associated with this program for free in the link in the description so i have taken up random module matplotlib module to plot the probability distribution function and then to run this we need shift enter and here I have created a list dice with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are initialized to 0. So for i in range, uh, let me just do it for less number of times. I am selecting one number out of this list dice. So for that I have used random dot choice function so what is going to happen here is i throw a dice 100 times and whatever the results i obtain i enter those results into these variables 1 2 3 4 5 6 so by the end of this experiment i should get the trial result like this so if i have rolled a dice 100 times I've gotten 1 as 18 times, 2 17 times, 3 19 times, 4 15 times, 5 16 times and 6 15 times. Now I have created the probability of the trials. So for I in range 6, the uh, trial results and I'm going to iterate and I'm going to divide it by 100 and I'm going to append this to this empty list all right so this is what the probability is uh, however the probability should have been point, point 0.166 but here because the number of trials is small uh, I have only rolled the dice 100 times so each one of them has probability 0.18171915 this one has gotten 1.16 but it is closer to 1.16 uh, and this result will change if the number of trials are even smaller so let's check that so here this is the right thing so this guy has a probability of 10% 10% 20 30 30 and this guy has 0% so what if we increase the number of trials to let us say 10,000 then it is okay 10,000 now this is very close to 0.16 which is uh, the probability of getting each number so when the number of trials are large the pdf is more closer to the desired result so that's what the idea is 
then uh, I could plot a bar graph uh, between the uh, list dies and the probability of the trials this list and if I do that this is like this and when the number of trials was smaller let us say 100 or let us say 70 and to divide this by 70 so this is not even so it is not reflecting the true nature of rolling of a dice which is an equally likely event so here one is uh, happening more times than two and three and so on so i hope this quick tutorial on uh, drawing the probability distribution function was of help so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up i'll come up with more such videos in the future i'll see you around take care bye bye